this video we're going to demonstrate with the use of calculus how hard to hit the cue ball into this coin making it in the cup x amount of feet away from the table. We're going to do this with the use of calculus. So this is what we're going to do. We need to come up with an equation to find out where to place this cup from the table. So what we'll do is figure out our distance of the table. So we'll come over and we'll take a measurement from the cue ball to the edge of the coin, which is 78 inches. Then we need to figure out our time. So we took an average of the shot from the cue ball to the coin, which come up to 0.96 seconds. Then we can figure out our velocity because it is distance over time, which is equivalent to 78 inches over 0.96 seconds. So therefore we have a velocity of 146 inches per second. Then we need to figure out our acceleration. Well, A equals velocity over time, which is 146 inches per second divided by 0.96 seconds, which our acceleration equals 153 inches per second. Now with this, we can come up and find a force, Fn average, to know how hard we're actually hitting the cue ball. Well, Fn average equals mass times acceleration. Our force, our cue ball, is 0.17 kilograms times acceleration, which is 146 inches per second squared, converted into meters per second squared, equals 3.89 meters per second squared, which is equivalent to 0.66 newtons or 4.77 foot-pounds. Now, knowing all this information, we can come up with our displacement of the cup. So we have displacement, delta S is equal to the integral of velocity with the derivative of time, which velocity is the integral of negative 153 dt, because we're using negative because we don't want to know the entire distance we just want to know the distance from the table to the cup. Therefore, V equals negative 153T plus C1. Now to solve for C, 146, which is our velocity, equals negative 153 times zero, our displacement at the beginning. So that makes C1 equal to 146. So therefore, velocity equals 153T plus 146. So we take the antiderivative of that to find our displacement. So S equals negative 153T squared divided by 2 plus 146T plus C sub 2, which is our final displacement. S equals negative 76.5T squared plus 146T. So there when we punch in our numbers, we have negative 76.5 times 0 0.96, which was our average time, squared plus 146 times 0 0.96 seconds again. Then we have displacement equals negative 76.5 times 0 0.9216 plus 146 times 0 0.96 equals negative 70.5 plus 140.16. So our final displacement is equal to 69.66 inches or 69.7 inches. So if we place the cup 69.7 inches away from the table and hit the cue ball with 0.66 newtons, the coin should land in the cup.